You know what I consider my greatest riches in life is the funny things that happen. Sometimes the funny things that happen that I'll remember for the rest of my life. I got a tweet today from my granddaughter, and I'm, I'm not making this up. You can't make up things like this. It says, don't throw away the frozen lizards. They may look dead, but just frozen. Once they get warm, they become alive again. Well, I looked in the freezer. I don't see any lizards. But, of course, I looked the way that a man looks when he really doesn't want to find something. <laughs> so they're probably in there somewhere. Or, or they have come out of their frozen state and crawled away into the family's food supply. I, I pray for you that you have joy in your life, uh, that God manifests prosperity in that way and abundance in that way, and that your life is enriched. We live in a world created to provide all that is needed for a joyous and a fulfilling life. However, true prosperity, as I've said many times, is not limited to the material world. God will guide us in recognizing and claiming our good, and that includes loving relationships, health in mind and body, and, and I think this is the biggie, the joy of living itself. Everything that affects the quality of our lives is an aspect of our overall prosperity. There is much in the world that could enrich our lives, and yet we tend to overlook some of it. The joy of friendship, the beauty of nature, the enjoyment of music and art, it's all true prosperity. As we remain open to, as we recognize and accept the treasures that are all around us, our capacity to receive and enjoy, it increases. It says this in Job 36, 10 and 11. He opens their ears to instruction. If they hearken and serve him, they complete their days in prosperity. I pray that for you, that you complete your days in prosperity. And I pray that it's the prosperity of the joy of living, that everything is seen as humorous and something to be truly enjoyed.